あなたの卑しさが招いた結果ですよ立場をわきまえ黙れ Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 times cheaters got owned in anime. Oh no, Pelipper! You needed a more powerful Pokemon! I mean, a more powerful attack against Pikachu! Number 20, Wong, Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Domon Kashu was an absolute beast throughout the 13th Gundam Fight tournament, and it seemed like Wong wouldn't be able to take him out of the game the old fashioned way. So he, of course, had to resort to bending the rules by orchestrating a tag team match with one slight handicap. And so, what do the two of you think? Actually, we don't mind this format at all. While teaming up with Allenby to take on the fighters of Neo Singapore and Neo Malaysia, Wong activated a gravity device which would weigh the King of Hearts down. Domon, is something wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, my body feels so much heavier. Now, of course, these slimy fighters didn't take into account that Domon gets through pretty much every obstacle with sheer manly willpower each and every time. It wasn't long before he and Allenby were taking down their opponents with simultaneous erupting burning fingers. Not even close. Erupting! Double! Burning Number 19, Joe. Devil May Cry, the animated series. You wouldn't really expect Dante to spend an episode playing poker, but that's exactly what happened here as he traded in a sword for a handful of chips. In the episode, he's attempting to find an elusive gambling demon, and he has to contend with some of the sneakiest players around, one of which is Joe, a well-known figure in the scene who has the strange ability to change the type of card he's holding. Just to be safe. Unfortunately for him, he didn't realize that his weak-looking opponent had a better hand. I, I did it! I, I won! I won! As such, he doesn't just lose the round, he gets spontaneously killed by the eerie curse that is orchestrating the game. Uh, that's not... <laughs> Number 18, Jamira, Duel Masters. While Shinobu and his pals are practicing their dueling techniques, a cocky red-haired boy known as Jamira suddenly shows up and challenges our protagonist to a duel. Just as they're about to begin, Jamira points to the changing weather to distract Shobu, then switches out his shuffle deck with a pre-arranged one. I hope you're not thinking of using this as an excuse. No way! For anyone who's ever played any sort of card game, you know this gives you an incredible advantage. This cunning trick ends up being for nothing, as not only does he get found out, but loses the duel anyway. This wouldn't be the last time Jamira tried to cheat to win, as later down the line, he tried to hypnotize Shobu during a duel, which obviously didn't work. Your mind is growing weak under my spell. <laughs> Number 17, Spear Hero and Multi S Melramark, The Rising of the Shield Hero. Ever since her disgusting betrayal, Multi had been using any means necessary to discredit Naofumi's name. After declaring Loot Village to be under the rule of Motoyasu, she challenges the shield hero to a race. Huh? To absolutely no one's surprise, Multi uses underhanded tactics during it, getting her soldiers to use magic against him. Of course, this is a complete waste of time, and thanks to Philo's unmatched speed, now Fumi wins the race. But this doesn't stop Multi from claiming that he himself cheated, which is quickly shut down by Mirelia's envoy. Number 16, Yu Otosaka, Charlotte. You may appear to be your average high school student, but he actually possesses an incredible power that allows him to take over anyone's body for five seconds at a time. Now, of course, he ends up using this for nefarious means, the biggest of which is cheating on exams. 
回答を暗記して戻って回答欄を埋めるのを繰り返す Unfortunately for him, the student council knows exactly what he's up to and tells him to retake a test while no one else is. He's caught on camera by Tamori, who gets Takajo to chase after him when he escapes. When the student council member finally catches up with you, he showcases his own powers and takes him on the most frightening ride of a lifetime. Even after all this, you continues to resist and gets knocked out by Tamori. Number 15, Tompa, Hunter Hunter. Unlike all the other entrants in the Hunter exam, Tompa doesn't actually want to pass. The self proclaimed rookie crusher actually wants to cheat the system and take out as many entrants as possible with deviously underhanded tactics. One of his worst ways is offering newcomers spiked drinks to force them out. <laughs> Thankfully, Tompa finally got his comeuppance after trying to trick Leorio. He gets kicked right in the face by Kurapika, sending him spinning. <laughs> to add insult to injury, he then gets tied up in an incredibly embarrassing manner. <laughs> Number 14, Daniel J. Darby. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. Not only is Darby an expert gambler, but he's also a complete and utter mastermind when it comes to cheating. <laughs> he proudly boasts this fact, stating that if he isn't caught, then everything is fair game. After winning wages on the souls of both Paul Nerf and Joseph, it's up to Jotaro to take on Darby in a poker game. In order to defeat this deceptive gambler, Jotaro pulls off the bluff of the century, even wagering the soul of his mother, Holly. In a panic, Darby can't tell if he's cheating or not, and works himself up so badly that he becomes unconscious, giving Jotaro the win. Number 13, Raven Tail, Fairy Tail. Throughout the Grand Magic games, the Raventail Guild had been using some extremely underhanded tactics to get them some victories. But it was in this showdown with Laxus where they truly revealed how low they were willing to go. After using illusion magic to hide what exactly is going on in the battlefield, Alexei reveals that he is in fact Laxus's deadbeat father, Ivan Drea. <laughs> He then sends out all of the other members to interfere in their fights, five on one. Unfortunately for them, Laxus is an absolute beast and goes on an electrifying rampage, taking them out one after another. Obviously, he saved the best for last, delivering such a shocking punch to his father that it broke the illusion altogether. <laughs> Number 12, Anthony, Pokemon. During Ash's journey throughout the Hoenn region, he comes across an unofficial gym run by a guy named Anthony that claims to house the world's strongest Pokemon. Despite not giving out a gym badge, Ash is more than intrigued and takes on Anthony's Pelipper. All right, Pelipper, Vine Whip! Wait, what did he say? Pelipper can't use Vine Whip, Pelipper! Unusually, the Pokemon is able to do all sorts of attacks that it wouldn't usually be able to, and the battle ends in a draw. As it turns out, Anthony put Pokemon inside its large beak, creating this weird illusion. Out of all the people, it's Team Rocket who put him in his place. After discovering his secrets and taking over his scheme, no one out criminals Jesse, James, and Meowth. I didn't mean any harm. I only wanted to have the world's most powerful Pokemon. Number 11, Emilia Ludwell. 
the misfits of Demon King Academy. As a pure blood royal, Hero Academy teacher Emilia is extremely prejudiced towards mixed blood demons, even if they're her own students. During the Magic Sword tournament, Emilia attacks Anus' own mother in an attempt to steal his sword and get him disqualified. <laughs> Unfortunately for her, Anos is actually the legendary Demon King reincarnated and shows up just in time to thwart his scheme. <laughs> After embarrassing her in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Anos proceeds to kill and reincarnate her as a mixed blood demon, the very thing she despises. <laughs> Number 10. Itsuki Sumeragi Kakekurui Let's get this out of the way first. Practically every opponent Yumeko has gambled against has tried to dupe her in some way and lost. Though out of them all, this one might be the most satisfying. As something of a spoiled princess with a thing for fingernails, Sumeragi might have thought that her cheating ways would have snatched her the prize in a heartbeat. After all, with a deck of cards rigged to show unique patterns when exposed to heat, there's no way Yumeko could win, right? <laughs> Not so, since Yumeko not only outplays her, but ups the crazy factor to infinity, pressuring Sumeragi for a rematch until she literally breaks down in tears. <laughs> Number 9. Etsuya Eizan – Food Wars You almost have to admire how in your face this guy is with his greed. <laughs> Obsessed with using the culinary arts for profit over anything else, it's no wonder Eizan backed the villainous Azumi Nakari when he turned Totsuki Academy into a totalitarian society. Now with all the power in his corner, Eizan had no issue when it came to openly bribing judges in order to win any and all shokugeki against rebellious students. Eizan, you are really of course, Soma isn't your average chef, since he managed to conjure up some chicken that tasted so good, the judges had no choice but to declare him the winner. The look on Azan's face says it all. <laughs> Number 8. Otsuki – Kaiji Against All Rules with way too much time on his hands, there was nothing that this foreman loved to do more than manipulate the prisoners of their forced labor camp into playing Chinchiroren with him. <laughs> However, as opposed to a mere distraction, this was a ruse in order for him and his cronies to fleece the masses of what little earnings they had, all made possible thanks to special dice that always landed high. His spree of good fortune didn't last long, however, as Kaiji not only managed to expose this setup, but then proceeded to use said dice to rob Otsuki of every last bit of money he had to his name. Number 7. Makoto Hanamiya – Kuroko's Basketball Just because basketball is technically regarded as a contact sport doesn't give you the right to start throwing elbows. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> As one of the uncrowned kings, Hanamiya certainly has talent. It's just a shame he mostly uses it to foul his way to victory by having his teammates kick the crap out of other players in subtle ways. Bad to the bone and a jerk to the nth degree, it's kind of amazing that this guy hasn't been banned from the courts. Well, we just had to settle for Satan owning them in the game. Mata <laughs> 
きやがってくそくそー Number six, Bandit Keith, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. Why is a grown ass man spending his days trying to trounce people in a children's card game via unfair tactics? Because he's from America, that's why. <laughs> oh, I ain't too worried about that. <laughs> he's got the bandana to prove it. Hoping for riches and fame, Keith did practically everything possible to ensure that he walked out of Duelist Kingdom the winner. I'll make you cry, alright. Just you wait. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, no matter how many bonus cards he snuck into his deck, he still can't best Joey's hard work and determination. When that failed, he flat out pulled a gun on Pegasus. Unless, of course, you're watching the four kids version, then it just looks like he's pointing at him menacingly. Can it? You ain't talking your way out of this one. Now hand over that prize money or else. Either way, he soon finds himself treading water, literally. <laughs> Number 5. The Foxy Pirates One Piece In what universe is tangoing with the Straw Hats a good idea? You only need to take one look at Zoro to know that he means business, and yet Foxy and his crew still thought they had a chance. Granted, these battles are basically comic relief, but that doesn't excuse how this fox-faced fiend tried to cheat at every turn. He picked each contest in his crew's favor, implemented underhanded tactics, even tried to blindsight Luffy during his boxing match. They may have been wily in their ways, but nothing tops Luffy and company when it comes to overcoming the impossible. <laughs> Number 4. Oberon – Sword Art Online this so-called fairy king isn't so much a gracious ruler as he is a gamer who really needs to be put on some kind of watch list. <laughs> Willing to do anything to claim Asuna and take out Kirito, Oberon happily twisted the rules of Alfheim Online to his advantage. System Command! Pain Absorber! Level 2 8 Considering there's nothing this guy hates more than a fair fight, using illegal techniques like gravity magic in order to hold Kirito in place while he committed some scummy acts is hardly a surprise. Hope he enjoyed himself since it wouldn't be long until he got his ass handed to him both inside and outside the game. <laughs> Number 3. Boruto Uzumaki Boruto Naruto Next Generations are you proud of yourself, young man? Just look at what you did. <laughs> An unfortunate combination of teenage issues, swollen ego, and manipulation all led to this shinobi throwing away his big day when he was exposed for using an illegal ninja tool during the tune-in exams. <laughs> His excuse? It's all your fault, Dad, because you never trained me. I hate you. Hey, kid, did you ever hear the one about how your dad spent his childhood isolated by the whole village and yet managed to stick to his guns and relied on his own strength to take him places? Didn't see him whining about it. Now go to your room. <laughs> Number 2. Frost – Dragon Ball Super We hate to stereotype, but it seems no matter where you look in the multiverse, Freezer's lookalikes are always clinging to the dark side. 
Frost might not be a genocidal maniac, but he's hardly leaning towards lawful good. After all, when it came time for Universe 6 and 7 to bump heads, he fooled everyone into thinking he was a stand-up guy, before suddenly turning the tables on his opponents with one dirty trick after the next. Damn it! He might have gotten away with it too, if not for the fact there's nothing in all of space-time stronger than Vegeta's hatred for all things Frieza. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Team Marshall Yu Yu Hakusho Even in a tournament filled with demons, these guys managed to stand out as the most dishonest, underhanded, devious, and assholeish group you're likely to come across. Give me my damn team back! Didn't you hear the announcement, Yusuke? They're both very sick. They're going to need a little time to recover. Willing to do anything to win and backed by their slimeball manager, Butajiri, their meddling almost spelled doom for Team Urameshi. You forgot something. He's standing in the ring. Yes, it looks to me like he's volunteering to fight again. <laughs> oh, give me a break! Kurama's not even conscious anymore! With Kuwabara forced to fight while injured and Genkai and Hiei locked away from fighting, it almost looked like they would walk away the winners. But it wasn't enough to keep Yusuke's group of badasses down. So get out of my ring! Oh, yeah. Yep, these folks were truly the worst. Which anime cheater did you most enjoy seeing get owned? Let us know in those comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.